Okay, welcome back everybody to Final Fantasy 13 2 and uh, you know what, we're not, we're not even going to touch that, that battle that we were in last time. Actually, before I started recording this, I uh, changed up my team, or my paradigms a little bit. Uh, whoops, there we go. I changed up my paradigms a bit, and uh, you know, I tried the battle again. I had a little bit of an easier time, but at the end, it still whooped my ass, so... Um, so yeah, no, we're just uh, we're just gonna avoid that until we are stronger. It would probably be highly advisable that we do so, because uh, yeah, like for some reason, just right there at the end, it just no matter what I did, it uh, kicked our ass. And there's a gate, which is awesome. Uh, right there at the end, it, uh, it whooped our butts. It whooped our sorry butts real good, and uh, it was pretty, pretty embarrassing to say the least. I guess if I could say that much, it was, uh, it was pretty terrible on my part. There was nothing I, I could really do. I mean, I did. I really had done all that I could do at that point. So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just great. It's great. So, what the? Oh my God! It's the return of these things. That's just awesome. So yeah, I won't be won't be returning to that anytime soon not until I get stronger. I'm pretty strong as is right now, but I'm not strong enough for that. So, you know, what can you do? What can you do? I don't know why every time I decide to start recording that that's the time that like your know, sinuses start to uh, start to act up. It's like every time without fail, as soon as I start recording, I could be fine for like the whole rest of the time, but as soon as I start recording, it's like, oh, time to, time to mess with that guy's sinuses, time to piss him off, which is awesome. It's so, so freaking awesome. Okay, um, yeah, we got all the crystals, so we can go and, really? So we can go and talk to that guy. This time period is really annoying because it seems like nearly everything doesn't wait and tries to get the head up on you. It's really dumb, but... Okay, oh, uh, look, and we're probably not going to get a whole lot to that. Yeah, look, 120, that's just freaking awesome. 120. What quest do we have? We, we've got some... Fragments to look up here in here. So we have the seed thing, and then we have the falling stars. Okay. Well, we completed the stars, so we can go back and talk to that guy and see what he wants, and then maybe more won't lock. Maybe more. Maybe more won't. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. If not, then we'll just uh, we'll just move on to another gate and was going there because then we won't really be able to do anything here. There's no point in aimlessly wandering around when we can't really uh, defeat that other thing that's a pain in the ass. Uh, I didn't even know why I thought I could could jump through that. That was just really that was really weird on my part. Uh, these things still gonna get the heads up on me? No. Good. After three or four failed attempts, we finally got these guys off guard. Thank goodness. Going fucking assholes is what they are. Oh. Oh, oh. Tornado. And you're on fire. And you're dead. I guess they're... There could be, well, not really. There aren't really too many worse ways to go there. Right? I mean, caught in a violent storm of wind and fire. I suppose nature's way of uh, sticking it to you, though, that's pretty violent. Pretty violent. What? Oh. It's those leech things. Duranthes? Duranthes? They're they're dead. Yeah. No one's hurt, right? 
Well, holy shit, ten potent droplets. Ten potent droplets? Why do we need ten potent droplets? That just doesn't make any sense. Ten potent droplets. And we must have rocked socks on that one. We did so good. Okay, so we need to talk to you. You, right? Holy shit, dude. Three crystals, all of a different color? Can I see them? These must be what fell from the sky. And I can only think of one explanation for what they are. Can you? Of course, I must warn you. It's it's not a very scientific explanation. Doesn't Even need to be. I'm a scientist, I try to keep We're time travelers. This is why I think it's possible there's some truth and it's Final Fantasy. in an ancient transcript. Long ago, the Seeress of Padra offered three prayers to the night sky and made a promise. She predicted that her three prayers would take the form of stars and fall from the sky in the course of time. The colors of the three stars were stated clearly in the prophecy. It just so happens that they match the colors of the crystals down to a T. This can't just be a coincidence of some sort. The crystals are yours to keep. The people of ancient times believed that the prayers of the Seeress had powers of protection. This is her gift to you from the past. That's cool, I guess. Uh, let's see, does anyone else have anything? Doesn't really look like anyone else has anything. I guess we should just check out, uh, should check out those gates. We came in from the one up top? Is there, what, I don't remember where we flew in from. Where do we fly in from? Uh, it wasn't here. It must have been one down in the... Down in the plains. I'd be interested to find out if there's a... Either way, though, I suppose we are... This is one of my easiest missions We're ever. moving on at this point. Wow, good for you, guy. I'm glad, I'm glad it's one of your easiest missions ever, you know? I am so glad. You're having an easy time. Meanwhile, me, I'm just, I'm wandering around time, trying to right wrongs and trying to fix shit. And you're here, being all like, "Oh, this was the easiest mission ever!" Yeah, yeah, good for you. Good for fucking you. You have it easy. I don't. I'm having fun, mind you, but it ain't easy. So don't go around parading that you're having an easy time there, guy, because it's annoying. You know what? This is... This whole nose, nasally thing is getting out of hand, so I'll be right back. Alright, well hopefully that's curbed for a bit. I don't know what the hell that is about, but uh, we're gonna hop on our chocobo friend and head off to one of the gates. Well, we're gonna... We're gonna check something out, and you know what? Before we do that, let's let's talk to this person. Do you have anything to say? See this flower? Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It's called the flower of Fenrir. It only bears fruit once every couple hundred years during the time of the eclipse. Unlike most flowers, it requires complete darkness to go through the process of bearing fruit. It's an amazing subject to research, but as you can see at this stage, it's still a flower. I don't know exactly how long it'll take or when it'll produce fruit, but I do know it's unlikely that it'll happen in my lifetime. But I can still hope, can't I? Uh, sure. Maybe? You're willing to search for the fruit of Fenrir for me? I don't think it's possible to find one when there's no eclipse. Or do you know something I don't? Is there a secret way to obtain one? Well, we are time travelers after our, after all. <laughs> uh, do I even this have it? Is the flower of Fenrir. Yep. I'd much rather study. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, oh, I guess, uh. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, right. So we'll, we'll eventually, we'll, we'll eventually go and get that. I guess. At some point. Maybe we'll do it off screen. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I do not know. I cannot say for certain. And, um, 